Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from the Ionic Academy. In this video, I will show you how we can implement a simple fingerprint or touch ID login with Ionic. And I've started a blank new Ionic app, so nothing's going on by now. And we start by adding, first of all, um, the Cordova plugin, uh, the Cordova plugin for fingerprint and this plugin is for both android and ios there's also another plugin which only works for ios touch id so in that case you would have to use two different plugins and with this one we hopefully can use um, just one for both platforms for some reason uh, paste is not working with my keyboard today anyway uh, make sure to install also the uh, Ionic native package. So after installing the NPM package, we also create two pages. So Ionic G page um, home. So this will create the home page again with a module file. And then we also create a login page, which will then become our first page of the app. So uh, let's go to the app components. And right here, we change this to be login page. And of course, we can remove the reference for the home page here. And also, all the references for home page here and here and here. And finally, we need to make sure to import our fingerprint AIO from add Ionic native fingerprint and then add it to the array of providers down here. All right, so far we're fine, I think. Um, yeah. So let's go to the login screen and we will build a little, very super simple login right here. Uh, primary login and then within the content, uh, we want this um, so one password um, design I would call it where we have uh, like a door or something so you will see it um, we will use the iron row with align items center to keep everything in line and then um, we will use a call five on both sides so in the middle we have uh, two units left I think and there we also add the class lock column so we will implement those um, CSS classes soon and we got the lock background image um, background and then we also got the little image which I already copied to our assets folder which is just an image of a lock and we will give it also a class lock image. And this one will be tappable. So then we can attach our actual action to this uh, image. So let's see how this looks. Okay. Uh, uh, come on. The image is there. Lock PNG. Oh, whatever, perhaps I need to uh, restart the build. But anyway, we can continue with the CSS for this class because it wouldn't look good right now. So first of all, we got the login row, which should take 100% off the screen. Yeah, there's actually the lock and it also has a click event. So the login row should have a height of 100. And then we got also the column, which also should have a height of 100. Then we continue with the lock background. So this will um, be like a little um, line through the screen, two pixels big, height 100%. And the background will be a little gray color also margin left just add it so we are in the middle of the screen more or less um, and then we got the lock image which should be completely in the middle of our screen 
so top zero, bottom zero, left zero, right zero, and margin auto. And perhaps a little padding if we like to. No margin auto. Yes, and padding. And now the screen looks a bit like our one password app if our app is locked of course there is a bit more animation there but i think we're fine here so let's actually implement our function and go to our login page so for the home page we don't have to change anything um, perhaps just add this is private area so once we reach that screen we're sure um, that the login was successful. So to perform our login, we basically only need our um, plugin. So private fingerprint, uh, fingerprint, there it is. And then when we call login, we just call the plugin and say um, either is available if you want to first check if it's available um, or just use show to show it and then you can specify a few uh, fingerprint options so um, let's see first of all the one really needed is client ID and this is just the ID that recognizes your uh, application within the keychain of the device so it's more or less the ID of your um, app and if you like to, you can use a client secret um, only for Android, yeah, password, whatever you like to. And then uh, something like you could use a localized fallback title for iOS and the localized reason like uh, use pin or please authenticate, something like this. But this is completely optional, so I will just leave it out for now. And then we hopefully get a result and this means we are authenticated and we can use our nav controller to simply call set root with the home page so then we will be guided to the next page if there's an error we can catch it and perhaps print it out like this now of course as we're using cordova plugin this won't work in the browser so let's switch over to my device and see it in action. All right, so here we are with the app on my iOS device. And if I hit the red lock, um, I will be asked just like any native other application for my touch ID. So this is iOS, not Android. On Android, this might look uh, different. And you can also see the ID of uh, our client uh, of the fingerprint uh, of the app whatever the client id we defined here is now right here so if i put on the right finger i, I hope you don't cut it um, we are locked in and inside the area so with just a few lines we were able to implement this really cool feature which many apps today use um, which really feels native to the user not like any web app or something like this so um, this is really a quick win you can easily implement in your app if you enjoyed this video uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel there are a lot more videos you can consume that will hopefully help you to build better ionic apps and also make sure to check out the ionicacademy.com where we got some uh, courses i think more than 20 already by now uh, projects and the great community that will help you to get forward and make more progress with your apps and your ionic journey have a great day and take care